on to a new game, huh? Uh, I'm going to be playing Tunic. Which was a game that was gifted to me by one of my brothers, so. It's, uh... It's a game that might be familiar. A little familiar looking. It might be a bit choppy. Let me just see. I may have to mess around with the graphic settings, but let's just see how it goes. That seems fine, actually, now. See, so, you now, for those that were tired about me playing uh, a game featuring, I don't know, like a particular elf-like creature, it's okay, it's a fox, not an elf. Yeah, let me know if the video quality is okay and not choppy. Because I'm worried about 1440p mode on desktop. <laughs> but I'm trying. Seems okay. Now what is this about? You might be wondering, hmm, that's strange. Well, the thing about this game is, like, everything's in a foreign language. An alien language, if you will. So you have to piece together what it means. Oh, that's targeting. Okay. Alright, so that means stick. We taking notes? Have I played this before? No. Not at all. Oh, the left button. Got it. Okay. There. Got it. There we go. But you know, it has, uh, it has elements that might be considered souls like, you know? So the whole thing that if you if you do die, you lose uh, the currency or whatever that you're carrying on you. So don't don't let the cute art style fool you. Like I bet this is gonna get hard. I like the soundtrack. It's very, very peaceful. It's the right balance of like being chill but also probably a little a little spooky <laughs> in terms of combat. It's 
I'm guessing that was a safe point. Like, okay, this is like the campfire. Uh, okay or no? Okay. Okay, so the last word is key. Interesting. Hey, Nikta, how's it going? No more headache, fair enough. So sad, what, that you don't have a headache? Whoa. It's like a spirit realm. This must look very nice right now. With the extra crispy resolution. And knowing that watching or playing some games give you on now. Hmm, I mean... Do you get your eyes checked? Because... That's like, sometimes it's related to that. I remember that used to happen to me a lot as a kid. You do your uh, glasses and lenses. Ah. Yeah. I mean, it could just be the motion sickness thing as well. Like, it just depends on the game. You have such pretty eyes, thanks, they don't work. I mean... Do they have to work? They're functional. They still work, you can see at least. Hmm. I guess that, that was it for this. Is there anything else left to do here? Uh, okay, I'm walking into the void. I'm surprised I don't wear glasses, because I used to when I was a kid. Oh. It's like a... older fox. Yeah, I wore glasses for about almost two years, and then I guess I just didn't need them anymore. Man, I love the soundtrack to this and just the aesthetic. Should have worn them when you were little. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, the longer you put that off, it's the worse for you. Because you squint, and that just does, uh... Cause a lot of problems. Oof. Probably shouldn't t have taken damage there. It's okay. Campfire. <laughs> Heal me. I'm 
It's early on, that's fine. Oh. Yes, this is one of these games. <laughs> It's alright, I'm, I'm grinding, clearly. Alright, I'm not going there again. That's so I've been in the temple. I mean, it doesn't look like I can go any further here. Let me have a look through this again. Alright, I mean, there's gotta be a way over there. Wait, there's an there's a orb there now. Oh, it's just a slime. Never mind. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna need glasses eventually to just be able to use a computer properly or reading glasses. It's the same thing. Sorry, I'll just take the hit. I don't want to keep going back and forth to that. Oh, there's a way to get through that without going near the slime. Sorry, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm sorry! It's just... You know, given... It's one of these games where taking damage is, is bad. Um, I want to be on health. I want to be a healthy little fox. Alright, there's a door over there. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty normal. Uh, okay. Sure. I love this. Look at this. Alright, so it's written in a foreign language. You can't understand it, but bit by bit as you find things... You get a little bit of English. Ring the ace bell. There's an ace forest, a grave, a guard captain. There's a west bell. In a far off land, a great treasure was sealed forever. Some say it is the power to defy death. I haven't played this before, but I have heard that you learn the language as you progress. But I love the manual aesthetic. This looks so good. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. Oh. All right. My monitor is being a little weird, so I hope there's not like flickering going on because I noticed there's the uh, the Twitch window is like causing a little bit of flickering on my end. So hopefully that's not the case. If it is, let me know. But I've been. Keeping a close eye on it, it seems fine. Okay, um... It looks good, alright, cool. I'll stop asking. I'm just, I'm running this in 1440p. For the extra detail. Within the next year, I'm, I'm gonna get a computer upgrade and then that'll pretty much be... What I stream at, with the exception of when I play the Switch, or any other retro stuff. Sorry, all I care about is that it looks good for, for you guys. I can deal with like a little random artifact here or there. This is nice. It's, I like I like the vibes of this game already. It's not a chill game. <laughs> I know this already. But the vibes are definitely pretty chill. I was a bit hesitant to play it because, you know, we've been focusing a bit on someone else that happens to wear a green outfit as well, but because the gameplay is different and the vibes are different, I figured it'd be fine. It's 
especially because it's probably going to get really difficult. And, you know, it's been a while since I played a game that's tricky. Doesn't look like I can get over there. I mean, there's multiple s symbols. I feel like I need, like, a... Uh... I don't know if I should be writing some of these down, because, like, some of the words are obvious. You can figure out what the word for key is. Oh, here we go. Hang on. How do I bring up inventory? It's like this way. Okay. It doesn't look like I have key anymore. I'll pay attention to what key looks like. It kind of looks like the key. I notice the language is pretty visual. Alright, let's go in here now. Oh, was there a lower area? Hang on. Alright, I'll double check. There was that door, but I think I don't have what's required to get in there. Yeah, there's no way to get further down. <laughs> Had to try. Alright, let's leave. I can't just fall off here. No. Hero's grave is that way. So that's where one of um, the things were. So that's been translated. There's a ladder over here. Is that a ladder? No. Looked like it was a ladder. This is the start. This is definitely giving me strong vibes from like Zelda 1 where it's like, okay, where do I go? <laughs> Figure it out. Oh, this just leads over here. There's not really a whole lot else over here. Maybe there's a door that I've missed somewhere. I almost rolled into them. Well, I don't see anywhere else. It would have. It has to be in that direction. I guess I have to figure out what to do in that particular spot. Because this just leads back up to the slimes, and I don't think there was anything else up there. We'll have another look, but... I want to see what that sign says. Big slime down. Town. Something in green. It looks like there's a path that way. No? It's blocked by these rocks. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is just the cliff that I couldn't get past. Alright, I guess the hero's grave is the only place I can go. So, gotta figure it out. Maybe I can push it or something? I'll try. I gotta apply Zelda 1 stuff now. Push everything, burn everything, bomb everything. Talk to everyone. I heard of a NES game that is worse than, than Zelda 1 when it comes to secrets. I mean... You think Zelda 1's secrets are obscure, like at least there's hints for it. This game is known, I forget what it's called, but it's like some secret castle game. And the point of it is like the whole game revolves around finding secrets in a castle and some of them are just so annoyingly obscure. Like you pretty much have to search every tile to get anywhere. There's this thing over here, but I can't reach it. I'll have to find the name of the game, but it's definitely not one that I feel like is worth playing. <laughs> unless you're following a guide. Because it seems to be rather cruel. Yeah, so I mean, I don't have any other... East Forest. Okay, oh, I'm an idiot. There we go. East Bell Tower. It wasn't simple. The fun gets sucked out if it needs hand-holding the whole time. It's not so much that it needs hand-holding. Like, one of the secrets I heard is... So you need a particular item. I think, with the, like, you need boots. And so the place you find boots is... Okay, so imagine these are two stones, right? And the point of it is, like Warrior, you can kind of destroy walls and stuff and find crevices that way. So the secret is you destroy the stone to the, to the side and then you push the other stone. You have to push it because it's not destructible. And you won't know it's pushable until you, like, hold the button for a few seconds. And then you hit the spot where it used to be and a door appears. But there's no hints as to how to ascertain that, you know? Okay, shield, heal is... Oh, wait. Oh, they they that's interesting. I mean, I, I guess I put sword on, on X, but... Okay, shield is right trigger, target L3, yeah. And then heal is left bottom. What else have we got? I love this, this reference to the Zelda 1 manual and stuff. It looks so good. Wait, hold and shield. Okay, so roll and then you hold. On page 14. So what, like... Well, I don't have a shield, so I'm guessing I'm going to get one now. Maybe. This game is really nice looking. Ooh. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> that one was off screen. Okay, I'm gonna go heal. <laughs> this is Dark Souls mentality here. I'm not about to take two hits. I'll gladly go back. I haven't played one of those games in a while. I feel like I'm due to play another game that causes me grief. I was kind of hoping the Elden Ring DLC would hit. But it, it just hasn't got a release date yet. What is Dark Souls about? Suffering. <laughs> I mean, the Souls series is like... There's a story behind it. I'm sure there's lore. But the gist, the gist of it is, is like... The entire game can be summed up as a modern take on... Those games where they were arcade games and you just had to... Pretty much play them over and over again, and then once you knew how an enemy moved, you just did the movements specific to beat the enemy. Or like in the case of those video game, video, like literal video type games, like Dragon's Lair. Where, you know, it would show you something and then you had to do a particular input. Or you would die. It's just like a modern day version of that, so, you know, you see an enemy, you'll probably die to it if you're not careful. But then you learn how that enemy works and then the idea is you just don't get hit. Because you go, okay, it's about to do that move. I better dodge. I don't think the Soul series is as hard as, like... Um... It's, as you know, it's infamously known, right? People compare difficult games to Dark Souls, and I just don't think Dark Souls is as hard. I mean, if, you've, if you ever play the game and finish one, you know that it's like, okay, this isn't really that hard. Have I streamed it? Not Dark Souls, but I've streamed Elden Ring and um, Demon's Souls, which is games considered in that franchise. It's a genre, yeah. So this is like loosely in that genre because there's like dodge and there's... You just have to maintain stamina. I'm trying not to get hit. But every death is basically a lesson. Okay. Not sure what that meant. But, you know, um... <laughs> it's definitely one of those games that... Um, I make, I make noises. When things are not going my way. So this enemy, for example, it like, it blinks, it does like a little flicker, and that's when you're supposed to dodge. So I just need to get used to that, and then that enemy shouldn't damage me. But, yeah, I mean... The comparison of something being, like, the Dark Souls of uh, another series is just, like, often said by people that haven't played Dark Souls. But you can say that about anything. It's like, you have a Sesame Street game that's the hardest one in the franchise. It's like, oh, it's the Dark Souls of Sesame Street games. <laughs> there are plenty of games before Dark Souls that were way harder. Like, I point to Battletoads and Ghosts and Goblins. Which, I, I believe, like, Ghosts and Goblins was a, a low-key, a, a form of inspiration for the people that made the game, uh, Dark Souls. But those games are punishing. Particularly Ghosts and Goblins. Oh my god. I haven't played the classic one, but I played the, uh... 
don't know if it's a remake, but it's it's a revival, I guess, of the series. It's like the the most recent entry in the franchise, and dude, <laughs> the amount of frustration that caused was more than anything I've ever felt in a, in a Souls game. I think Souls games are very well designed. You played Battle Turds on the NES or SNES, was tough, never beat it. Most people never do. That game, by design, was designed to take your money. But yeah, I mean, if Elden Ring got it, got its DLC, I would have played it, for sure. Like, right away. The prediction is it's gonna be... Um, either at the end of this year or early next year, but Elden Ring was a fun experience. So if I do play it again, I'll do a mage playthrough, because the warrior playthrough was fun. Just the character I created was, just ended up being really, really fun. Despite the times where I did get, get my ass kicked. It was a great experience and a really nice looking game as well. But you know, there's other... I do have the Dark Souls trilogy and... Um... What do you call it? Sekiro. As well. Like, they're, they're just sitting here. Oh. I know, I know. Masochist. I think here yeah, it's gonna get much easier if I get a shield. Like, I bet I can block those projectiles. Yeah, see how I'm doing a little better now? Those things don't scare me as much. Potion bottle. I'd imagine. Alright, we got... We got heals now. I thought about this for a while, but like, I think my love for games that kind of kick my ass a bit definitely stems from, um, not Zelda 1, but Zelda 2, because Zelda 1, I'd credit towards, um, like, my problem solving, for lack of a better term, just trying everything before moving on and not giving up. That's Zelda 1. But then, just... Wanting to beat something that is just tricky and annoying and just... You just have to pay attention to the combat? That's Zelda 2. Target lock, plus A. Focus and evade, yeah, that's, that's fine. Stamina points. You can always attack even without stamina, alright. Dust provides iframes. Alright, so yeah, it's like Souls mechanics. I can't get through here. There's gotta be another way. Oh no, there we go. Wait, oh no. That's the promise. Uh, a berry? Interesting. Well, I know this much, it's not going to be difficult to get a thumbnail for this game. Like, everything just looks so nice. We'll go in here first. Although there is a ladder. 
I don't want to go to the... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, here, here's a lesson up here. I don't... I think... Yeah, I can't... I can't get back up there. That, uh... That's probably a spot I don't want to go to. Okay, from below. Path to Hero's Grave. Yeah, every enemy is just... Once you fight it a couple times, you get used to it. And then you realize, oh, this isn't that bad. That thing's kind of separate. I got a heal, I should probably use it. If you want some fun, go watch me play Elden Ring. <laughs> That was, that was a fun playthrough. Kinda wish I had the better capture card for that, but oh well. It's not gonna look nearly as good as this does right now. How long ago was the playthrough? Uh, just last year. It was... yeah. One of my favorite games last year. So it's not old at all. Yeah, it's, it's just over a year. Okay, let's see what this thing does. One slash, right? Ooh, now it's doing two slashes. How do I know when it's gonna do two? It's fine. I could do Sekiro. Like, that's... Not that old, and it's a PS4 game, it'll look nice. But I really, really want them to release the DLC for Elden Ring. They're honestly, yeah, very fun streams. I say that now, but I made some horrendous noises. Particularly around, um, one boss that I will refuse to say anything about. I got a sword. Alright. Keep the stick on B, you never know. <laughs> like noises. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it chops gra Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, given this is one of those games, expect expect that at some point. I guess it depends how hard this gets. So far, it's been... it's been nice. I'm 
There's something about just chopping. It's pretty satisfying. I don't think there was anything else here. Let me let me have a quick look. Also, there's no enemies. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. It's a little bit. It's a little bit of Zelda mentality here. Okay, so because I just did that path, I should now... Hang on. There might be more over here. Huh. Now we can see. This is this is good. So, one enemy immediately. The three on top of the building, no threat. Okay. That um that roof seems very dangerous. It's like a second tier enemy. What else is over here? Oh, this is the well. Okay, I know where I am. Okay. Let's recover. So I, I'm just saying this for those that don't know much about the Soul series, but whenever you visit the concept of a campfire, whatever it might be, which is this, enemies respawn, but then you get healed and you get your your uh, your heal source replenished. So in my case, a potion, but at the cost of enemies appearing again. Yeah, it's like, exactly, it's like the Blood Moon. Except it heals you, but yeah. It's always, you're looking for that next campfire. That's your next reprieve. Nice. There was one more enemy on the bridge, if I remember correctly. Up here. I don't know if this is... Oh yeah, back up. I want to see what's up here. Yeah. Alright, so I <laughs> needed to come up here. There we go. Godhouse. Alright, so this is now if I want to get here easier, I can. Uh, a. It appears to be like a shell of some sort. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, that looks like a chest.
boss? It's a boss. Alright, here we go. It has a minion as well. I should... Okay. Minion first. Okay, minion down. I'll be fine. The important thing is not to panic too much. There we go. Got it. Fine. I mean, probably tutorial boss, but still. Alright, an extra potion charge. Nice. I fully expect there to be secrets and blind spots. Eerily quiet. Bell tower, there we go. Wait, strike or ring? Strike to ring, got it. It's learning the words. I thought there was more to do. <laughs> I was like waiting for something to play, but that's it. Is there a ladder there? No. Oh, there's a rope. Hang on. There might be a quick way down. Yeah, there we go. Glad I saw that. Uh, was there anything else doing this? There was that lower area. Hang on. I mean, you can probably fix this. Let's do this. I'll be proud if I don't die in this first stream of this, you know? Nothing new. I do find it funny I have instructions for the shield already, but no shield. Let's see how now these things are not as dangerous. That's the guardhouse. Alright, I need to go. Over here. It's interesting that it remembers these being cut. Okay. This is where I haven't been yet. Uh, what is, is that a bomb? 
Okay, two bombs. So very limited, but... Until I see something that's very obviously a spot I should bomb, I'm gonna hang on to him. Uh-oh. Check the blind spot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Two bottles. Glower forest, okay. A uh, big spider over there. A hook. A grappling hook upgrade, I imagine, so. Inconspicuous spot. Almost like something's broken here. Uh-oh. Dynamite. Oh, spiders! Okay, get back. Yeah, they flash yellow when they're gonna attack me. <laughs> what, you scared of me now? Oh my god. That was lucky. One v one, me bro. <laughs> There's got to be like a way down there. Like a ladder or something. Hang on. Off screen, there it is. No, there's a tree in the way. Oh no, wait, no, hang on. Okay, I thought that was it. Oh no, it is it. There we go, got it. Just have to pay attention to the map. Coins. All right, we're good. Another folk. I'm insistent in checking these blind spots. I have to.
Oh, we're back up here now. Alright. I thought this would have been... Whoops. Fast travel. Guess not. Um... So wait, what about the roof of this building here? Oh, no, I can get up here. Challenge the player. I'm picking a fight. They have a shield. Okay. Bring them out in the open. I would imagine this is how I get my shield. One. Okay. Give me shield. Ah, thought I was gonna get my shield. That is a massive. Uh, is that the <laughs> Oh crap! Uh, I feel like I probably shouldn't pick a fight with this thing. Hold on. Let's just do this. <laughs> Everything's fine. Just have to beat these things again. Oh, the one with the shield? No, it's still here. Alright, backstab that one. Get rid of the red one first. There we go, alright. <laughs> now, uh... About this dude. Holy shit. I oh, know he's just waiting. Like, I can't. He's not even gonna try and attack me. I'm just gonna roll past him. <laughs> Fuck that. Alright, hold on. Hey, Lola, what's up, man? More bombs. I mean, maybe this warrants the use of a bomb. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh man, I'm being so cocky. <laughs> I can survive one hit, so as long as I don't get hit again. There has to be a way through this thing. How goes it's been a minute? I don't know, man, yeah. Uh, things have been alright, just been very busy with work. And, uh, I mean... It's only really been the last couple of weeks where things have calmed down a bit. But otherwise, doing pretty well. How about you? Hang on. Don't wanna. I got two hits in. Okay. <laughs> I felt like getting good, so I'm, I'm playing a game that requires getting good. It just depends if I can... Okay, you can do it. Drive by.
hold on. I've been caught in a whirlwind of shit for what feels like ages. Ah, uh, hopefully nothing bad. <laughs> shit. I I can I can beat I can beat this thing. I can beat this thing. Now that I know how to stab it, I can beat it. I just don't want to die. I'm gonna try try my hardest to not to not die. This first play part. First play part? Part. Part play. First part of this bot if you're watching later on YouTube. Bye. Bye. Bye 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 bye. Get out of here. <laughs> but uh, also hi YouTube. Okay, there we go. Yes, tenacity. I know I can do it. I found out the, s the weakness. Just get good. And this is pretty much what the Souls games are, is like, you come across a difficult enemy and it might kick your ass, but then that enemy, it has a tell. And then once you know that tell, it's just like, take advantage of the tell. On the one hand, things in Washington are going to go well. Maybe I'm back home in Maui, things are terrible. Oh, shit. Sorry to hear that, man. Oh, wait. Ooh. I, apparently, I'm all right. <laughs> Let me uh, heal. I'll, I'll, I will beat this thing. Oh, wait. I think I read that. There was something that happened in Hawaii. Now that you mention that. Like, vaguely recall mention of it in the news here. Shit, I hope nothing horrible. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's bad. Just come here. I really thought this dude was gonna give me his shield. It's gonna be funny because the payoff for this is just going to be beating and proving that I can beat it, and probably nothing else, but we'll see. I need to get closer. How was I doing it before? I was dodging him so well. Ow. Alright, let's just go heal again. <laughs> I love how the first boss caused no problems and then there's this random encounter. It's just like... This is taking longer than the what was the first boss. I mean, I'm probably not supposed to fight this thing, but I don't care. That's what these kind of games are about, is like... You can overcome difficult enemies, you just have to be willing to keep trying. Okay. Oh my. 
bad. Big ass fire basically death would say the west side of the island. It was like some apocalypse shit, people jumping into the ocean. Shit. Yeah. I mean I, I can I can definitely relate to that kind of news. Because I mean, you know, wildfires are, are pretty common in Australia and yeah, I mean when you hear that it, it's affected an area where you know people live in. I mean even if you don't, it's just the footage from that shit is always just, man. It's, it's not, it's not good news. Well, yeah, hopefully, like, everything's all good in that regard, and you haven't had anything horrible happen as a result of it. Why am I being insistent on this thing? There it is. That's how you do it. Yeah, I mean, otherwise... That stuff aside, glad to, you know, at least you're doing alright, man, in Washington. What are you playing these days, anyway? I should play something. It's been a while. And people do ask about you. I, I will beat this thing. I will... I will beat this thing. <laughs> this thing is going down. I don't. I don't care how long it takes. I know. I know. I can do it. <laughs> oh man. Baldur's Gate Three had a, has you by the balls. I, I kind of imagined. This is this is the one. No, it's not. <laughs> if if I miss the shot, then yeah. Okay, still in it. I think I just have to roll into him. That's all there is to it is just roll into him. I'm not getting up close and personal. I'm not gonna win. Oh, jeez. That's it. It's a dance. Where did you come from? How, 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 did, how? You've been no laughing that shit, you need help. That's fine, man. I mean, sometimes the game comes out where you just spend... A bunch of time. It's fun. Ah! Surely he he's almost close to being down. Ah! 
Come on, man. Yes! <laughs> like I said, not worth it, the reward, but like... The personal satisfaction of taking it down. There you go. Alright. I... I did it. And now he comes back to life in the last 20 or so minutes. Yep, totally worth it. This game looks sweaty. I mean, it's, it's what it is, man. <laughs> it's, it's in that Souls-like genre, but has a very nice atmosphere to it. very charming and art style and also just the manual feature is pretty cool just everything's in a foreign language and then slowly you get things to be able to translate it so like, how do you bring up the man yeah this thing so look at this 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 is the coolest part it's an adorable horrible game yeah i mean it's right up there made for masochists. I figured I, I haven't played a game that tortures me for a while, so. But to be fair, this has been pretty smooth so far. I think I've been doing well. Alright, I need to leave here now. I think the only way back up, because the ladder's broken. Did I have no interest in B3, or Baldur's Gate 3? Uh, it's not that I don't have an interest in it, it's just I've never played a game in the series before, and I feel like... I'm, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, like, that game is something that's best experienced with a group of people to play with. Like, I enjoy RPG games. I just finished Final Fantasy 16 and, yeah, went into the lore and all that and did reading. Just insanely loud bell tower. Okay. Well, we can leave this area now. So now I guess we can head to town. I wonder if there's anything else hidden behind here. Ha! Uh, paper. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Something, something wrapped together. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything else here. debatable. It's more akin to Divinity 2 than it is to pass Baldur's Gate. And while it's a lot of fun with other people, it has the same problem as Divinity in that it's a massive time commitment to actually get through a playthrough. Right. I mean, how many hours are we talking about, roughly? Okay, I'll go heal. Well, I... Nah, it's fine. I 
I think that's that's why like multiplayer probably will be better because to get through a longer playthrough it does help. The I think what's the longest game I've played like in uh, excluding roguelikes, which are you know, it's not like one one playthrough. Is that amount? It's more. It's more just you're sinking that much time into it. I think probably The Witcher has been the longest game I've played on stream, which was like, a, uh, it was over 100 hours. The Witcher 3, that is. Should probably be specific. <laughs> Would you ever want to say no? Oh, there we go, the overworld. Okay, we got the map now. Slorm, Autobolt, a tip, something about deflecting. You heard one guy say that he was attempting to push through the main plot relatively quickly, and it still took him 120-ish hours. Oof. That's pretty long. Yeah, I mean, for me to play, I, I think I'd definitely ask everyone here, like, if they'd be into watching a playthrough of it. Because there's other, there's other games on the horizon that I, I do want to check out for sure. Like, there's Mario RPG. Um, I do want to check out the Pikmin games because they have the collection coming out. I mean, it's already out, but I want the physical copy. Um, there's also the new Mario game. Um, there's a new RPG coming out that's... It's got the composer from Chrono Trigger involved. I'm not sure to what extent, but probably provided music for it, so. Um, that comes out next week. And then, people have wanted me to play Animal Crossing again, like do a new file of New Horizons, so. Some people want me to do retro. I've been trying my hardest to like, mix things up and balance things out. Especially since I, I spent a lot of time on, on Zelda. I know the irony that like I'm playing a, as um you know <laughs> let's let's not mince words here, but like basically Fox Link. But at least the game is different. prefer Fox Link. I mean, this is very visually nice. And the music definitely makes it very nice to watch as well. I just destroyed the sign. Probably not a good call. I mean, I'm very, I'm very thankful that everyone's easygoing and, you know, they're like, whatever you want to play, we'll, we're happy with. I'm very appreciative of that. But at the same time, I do also want to make sure that, you know, I, I play stuff that people want to see. And that they have some form of input. It sounds like I got my work cut out. I mean, I don't have to play that, that stuff right away, like, you know. It's worthwhile experience one or another. You admit some bias because you're a huge D&D fan and a huge Larian fan, but you think it's the best game you've played in like a decade. Yeah. I mean, if people if people are into it, then yeah, I'll, I'll play it. What is this? Like a tower. But also, you know, 
people are watching later on YouTube as well, and you would like to see that in particular. This is probably not a good... Oh. 300 sun... Sh oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Give me that. I thought it was a boss. Thanks. I mean, chat, thoughts on Baldur's Gate 3? Since we're talking about it. Uh, also, hey Sandy, hang on. I'm getting chased. I'm trying to keep an eye on chat as well. You'd be down to play something that you got some time back. Yeah, man. I definitely would, would like that. I know some chat members would like that too. I mean, honestly, if, if you weren't so far into Baldur's Gate, I'd be like, I, I'd be down to play that, but... I don't know. I, I can't imagine it'd be very much fun <laughs> to go back. At least at this stage, like, I, you'd probably want to finish experiencing it for yourself and then later go back to it. Your vote would be for B3. <laughs> be more than happy to start a campaign. Well, we can definitely talk about it. I mean, if you want to, like, dedicate an evening, like, a week or something, and we just do the campaign casually, that's fine. Stick, shield, bomb. There's two bombs. There's, like... No, wait, there's, like, a ice bomb, a fire bomb... And looks like concussive keys, fruits, pepper, effigy, lore, golden coin, magic potion. They get refilled at checkpoint. Oh, bottle shards. Bottle shards. Okay. And then if we find more bottle shards, they're going to give. Gotcha. It's like heart pieces. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> I was not trying to zoom in. <laughs> I mean, is there, is there a lot of points to that? I don't know. Yeah, Nikta has definitely asked about you a couple times, so can confirm. Well, yeah, like, I guess we can talk about it now if you want, but, like, how's your schedule looking in terms of when you have evenings free? Because I know, like, time zones are a bitch. That's just how it is. I need another key. Another shard, nice. Uh, one more. I would imagine. There's a tuning fork. Hold on. I guess I don't have what's required. Think if I can spot out other things I can get. I mean, especially now that I have this sword, there's probably some things that I couldn't get to before. 
That leads to the hero's grave, so we've already cleared that. Let's have a look around here. I guess the reward for for killing that thing that I killed took time. <laughs> was uh just I was able to afford the extra charge, so it was worth it. Your vampire ways have maintained mostly because you work mid shifts or night shifts, so probably make almost anything work. Is there any particular day good for me? Uh I mean, for me, the times where, like, I could probably stay up a bit later, definitely, like, Fridays and Saturdays. For me, which would be, like, Thursday, Friday. The other nights would be a bit more restrictive. The only night that I don't stream is Tuesday, pretty much. Unless I, I feel like it. I've been trying to do more YouTube stuff, I really have. I, I cut together like a Stardew video and put it on the other channel, but I haven't said anything about it until now. I, I thought, okay, let's just, let's just see what happens. <laughs> put it out there. But uh, I wanna do a video where I'm talking about, like, all the Zelda games I played, and I'm gonna do, like, the tier list thing. And just talk about my memories of them. <laughs> so, been working on that. That one's coming along a lot quicker than the Stardew one did. Nice. Alright. I think I'm caught up now. I'll keep heading west. Bit of a Zelda retrospective. Uh, a little. Like, very minor touches on it. I guess it's more, I'm just ranking the games. You know, that classic tier list thing. But then I also, you know, talk about my memories of the game when I first played it. Or if it's a new experience, just that, more or less. What I liked about it, what I thought was something that was lacking or could have been better. And then putting Tears of the Kingdom amongst that list. Which I guess for those that know know already, they know where I'm, I'm placing it, relatively speaking. I've talked about it. Yeah, I wanna I wanna do more stuff like that, just where I'm talking about stuff that I play. Just it it uh, it would have been it would have been done sooner. If it wasn't for, like, the three months of, uh, just, oh, work is just going to get really, really busy. So it's, it's a few months late, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, it's something that hopefully goes well. This game is cute. Oh, it's great. I love it. But, you know, it is, at its core... In the vein of a Souls game. Oh my god. Okay, I need a heal. Should have been more prepared for that. Gotta utilize that sexy, silky voice of mine. Oh boy. Well, yeah, I mean... It's... It's a different experience when I'm reading a script and talking about things, right? And it's in the more edited form and not me just talking up off uh, the cusp, so to speak. I'm 
but it, it, yeah, I, I mean, hopefully it, it it's something that people will enjoy. I do, I do like talking about stuff, you know. One thing that's been good has been the VODs channel has has been getting a lot more attention lately. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. It's just like... Well, not attention, but use. <laughs> and model an audiobook. Oh no. I shouldn't have talked about that. And now, now, now that's resurfaced. I'll paint I'll paint a face on my hand. My favorite use of voice is the Yakuza series because Marja <laughs> uh, I, I gotta go back to that series at some point. Though Like a Dragon was really good. Uh Ishin. It was on the Majora's Mask videos as well. Damn it. I mean, that was probably around the time where it, it surfaced, to be honest. Because I think that was the year that I bought the Pokemon cards and opened them. And that's where it came from. It was just someone was like, oh, you have nice hands. And then just went to people sending me hand pictures on Discord. I mean, not DMs, but like in the server, just... Uh, oh, no, I can. Okay, good. Okay, good. This is open now. Now I'm gonna go... I mean, statue, campfire, whatever you want to call it. Hand DMs? No, no. Stop. The thumbnail redesigns I did for the VODs channel as well, they seem to be working, because I noticed for the- I swapped a few out initially with the new design, and those videos did a lot better, especially for, for being like full VODs. I mean, these days short media really does a lot better. Like, the era of Let's Plays has, uh, it's not gone, but... It's not what it used to be, so... I think it's- it's- it's gotta be the new font. Like, people love the thick. I remember when you shared handpicks, it was a true milestone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stream lore here, for sure. I was always thinking if I played the new Pokemon game and got the Worm Pokemon, like, that would be the Pokemon that I named after you, Lolo. Every Pokemon game I play, there's always a Pokemon named after you, and, and as long as it's one that knows Harden. Sorry, I'm not gonna explain the context. If you if you know, you know. There's actually a worm Pokemon now? Yeah, there is. <laughs> there actually is. Oh man. Look it up if you haven't seen it. What? Oh yeah! Oh, that was bad. Okay. This is interesting. It's like... I 
think I have to do something specific with this. I mean, a lot of people haven't played the new Pokemon, either because they don't have a Switch, or... Maybe they just saw what, what it was this time around in terms of buggy and performance. Okay, this is what I was up to, right? I think so. Yeah, I went in there already. I got the chest. Alright, we're good. Ooh, that's a sentry. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, okay, this is problematic. Alright, I need to know how to deal with that. The thing shares a striking resemblance to some of your failed worm creations. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs> uh, these sentries, the problem. Big problem. I might actually die. I got one more heal, but I, I think I, I can't go any further without going back. I mean, I could just die, but that's not what I want to do. I'm going to try and stick to the whole thing of not, not dying this particular stream. I am good player. I play many difficult games, and not just baby games. So I haven't figured out what to do with these plates. Alright, so, I mean, the sentry fires multiple shots, but it doesn't go down easily, so... It's either I need to avoid him right now, or there's, there's an easier way to fight it. Okay. Alright, I'm back here. Alright, so how do I deal with the sentry other than running? A. It makes a different sound. No? Just run. Okay. Oh, how am I gonna get- I may have fucked myself here. Chat? <laughs> how in the f- I don't know how I'm gonna get past this thing. Uh... Oh. Okay. Trust your instincts. No. I can't hit it. I tried. Oh, I'm gonna try. All right. It, it's that's a roadblock. It's four. Alright, but I'll survive. I'll survive. 
be a fridge, yeah. Enjoy, Karen. And get out of that. Esky light. All right, out, 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 out. We leave, we leave, we leave, we leave. Uh, the only thing I can think is like maybe. Ooh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, there's a key down there. There's a key down there. Okay, okay. I know where to go. 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 Just... Everything's fine. Everything's under control. Um, I'll look into Baldur's Gate 3 and see how much it costs. Um, and then, if I was to be able to play it, it'd be on Saturday, because this weekend I gotta do a lot of clean up stuff, because I got, like, one of those annoying inspection thingies where they check up on the place and just see that I haven't destroyed it, so... That's on, that's on Monday. Didn't I have it in early access? I don't think I, did I? I don't think I did. Did I? I don't think I, I've never played the game. I've seen you play it. <laughs> this is gonna be like a, a Steam moment where it's just like, oh yeah, no, it's in your Steam library. Hey, how about you um, stop buying so many games on Steam that you're never gonna play? Gabe Newell is already, already very rich. I don't think I do, but I wouldn't be surprised if I had it. I'll... I'll check. I know, I know for a fact I've never played it. That I know for certain. I have never played it. I've seen you play it. I've definitely seen you play it, but I have not played it myself. I can't check without alt-tabbing out, so... It's just... Okay, okay let, let's just assume I get it. It's like Saturday would be when I'd be able to do some sort of playing of it. Because tomorrow work and then I'm probably gonna be cleaning quite a bit. Okay, let's go down there. Alright, I guess we have to... Pirate! I wonder if I can use the turret to my advantage. Oh shit! Chest over here. There's probably a turret. Okay, what have we got? Oh, it's this thing. Okay, now let's get good. Just like before. <laughs> That's annoying. That's not what I was trying to do. Oh, I'm dead. Damn it. Ah.
And Saturday Lux can also play something else if you don't want to commit to a brand new fully priced game. Well, yeah, I mean, I, we'll see. Damn it, I couldn't make it to the end of this without dying. I should have gone back to heal. But you know what? Almost two hours without... Without death, I, I think... Commendable. Have I messed with Ember Knights? No, I haven't. I'm not sure what it is. What just happened was resurrected. <laughs> Imagine never getting that achievement. You could probably pull it off. Alright. I wonder if it has the mechanic where, like, I go to where I died and then I can collect some... Some semblance of what I dropped. Maybe not all of it. I mean, I appreciate the collateral damage. Okay, I think I just... Ugh, the part where I accidentally went to grab the key. Okay. You know, I, th I think I'm playing pretty well, all things considered. <laughs> Fun little cop roadblock, which Risk of Rain Returns was out. Suggest that for sure. Oh, if Risk of Rain Returns that, that'd be like a no brainer. Um. Don't want to derail the stream too much, but let me, let me just, let me just. For the sake of furthering the conversation, one sec. Plus, it gives me a, a minute to take a breather. <laughs> uh, let me see. I'm checking on my, on my phone. So we can do that nowadays. Yeah, I don't have I don't have it. Haha. -ha. Good. Memory. What so what does the digital deluxe DLC actually do? I mean, it's a fully priced game. That's that's basically it. That's all there is to it. Bad. This is bad. This is bad. Damn, man. I mean, as long as I can just get to fighting this thing, I'll be okay. Oh, there's my body. Soul. Okay, so it does have that mechanic. Hide. I'll be okay. Sir, excuse me. I'm just here to pick up my body, sir. Not sure why you thought I did. Maybe because I played Divinity 2. 
I mean, not on stream, but I played a bit of Doom 2. I never finished that. Oh, there's like more here. Is this a trap? I feel like this is a trap. Let me get the key first. The deluxe is whatever, you got some items with reference. Okay. Fuck. I shouldn't have done that. Alright, I can do this. I've done it once before, just do it again. I'm not going to stab it when the key is, like, on that side. Because that's what got me killed last time. Swung twice. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't do that scene every time, so I guess it's just showing. Oh, this fo this little fox is uh, it's eternal. So there you go. You've you've seen basically Dark Souls and how it works. If you haven't ever seen a Dark Souls game. just recover. I need all the health I can get. I can't take damage. Okay. I wonder if I can sneak over there. Probably not. It looks like... Oh, damn this thing. It looks like the soldiers protect each other, whereas in the wild creatures don't get aggroed, so... I guess I can probably sneak past the soldiers. Go again. Just, pl just play better. That's, that's the solution here. Let's take this thing out. Did I finish Diablo 4? I, I did finish this story, yeah. Um, I mean, look, I don't want to talk about the late game of Diablo 4, because it's like... <laughs> it's such a point of contention, because there are people that genuinely enjoy it, and... There's nothing wrong with that, right? If you enjoy the game, then don't let others try to change your mind on that. But, like, I expressed critique of that game, and some people were not happy about that. Let's just say that. Even though that's generally how I am, is, like, when I play games, I, I say positive things about it, and then if something... If I don't like something, I'll say I don't like it. So, uh, I played a bit of the, f the first, the new season, so like, with the Barbarian I reached about 75, and then on this new season, I mean, I reached about 80 something. But the game just has its problems, and we'll just leave it at that. And I think, given the severity of some of those issues, it's very apparent that, like, the game is an early access game. 
in a lot of regards. It's fun, but once you get further into the late game, you start to notice things. So... Yeah. So, I stopped playing it on stream just because, I guess, when those... Those issues were surfacing where I just noticed stuff, I don't know. I felt like I couldn't be honest about it because some people would take it personally. It's alright. I, I love Di the Diablo series still, right? Like, I still enjoyed the game for what it was. I, I got my money's worth out of it for sure, and I think it's fun, and, you know, I, I do still play it. I pick it up, and if a friend wants to play, I'll, I'll play, all right? But for me, that, that game just doesn't have... I guess the, like... The whole thing where I was going to sink, like, an extreme amount of time into it. Like I thought I would. It's alright. It's just a case of, like... I'm, I'm not... I'm... Just to be clear, I'm not making it sound like there were a, a, like a massive backlash or a whole bunch of people that like didn't like me saying negative things. It was just like, you know, I always try my best to do streams that people enjoy. And when someone's not enjoying something, I try to take that feedback on and try to improve things where I can. And I know that, you know, sometimes... <sighs> My personality isn't the greatest. And that maybe when I'm saying things, I might come off like a bit harsh, but I try to do it from a form of honesty, you know? So, it's just, yeah, I, I felt like with D4, it was only a, a couple of circumstances, but I just, I guess I didn't want those circumstances to pop up again just because I was voicing my opinion on the game, so. I decided to just leave it and only play it off stream. Damn it. You think more people need my kind of personality? Nah. I mean, the thing is, I... Not to get, like, too self-deprecating, like, I, I know, I'm, I'm very self-aware of, like, just sometimes, you know, I might not be the most warm person, let's put it that way. Particularly when it, when it comes to, like, small talk. Or if something genuinely doesn't interest me, I'll, I'll... I'll be honest with that and be like, I'm sorry, but like that uh, genuinely doesn't interest me. Maybe not in those words, but yeah. And I guess for a streamer, it's like, it's probably shooting yourself in the foot a little bit. But I do appreciate those that give me the benefit of the doubt and, you know, just look at their experiences here as a whole. As opposed to, like, maybe one scenario where I might be, like, venting about something being broken or bugged or just not functional. You know. Sorry, like, <laughs> this conversation kind of went down a strange path, but... You know, I always have that stuff on my mind of, like, how I can do better.
shit, it did a double stab. I thought I had it that time. Sorry, you got the gift, the game gifted to you, Lalo. Nice. Ah. <laughs> uh. I mean, I paid for it, but it was fine. Like I, like I said, I got my money's worth out of it, and I did enjoy it. I think there's a fun game there, it's just... Modern day game development. You used to, but then you got better at not caring. I mean... It's, it's one of those things where... You know, I, I firmly believe in that you shouldn't let, um, let what people say get to you, and to some extent you shouldn't care about certain things, but also it's like, everyone's human at the end of the day, and sometimes, no matter how hard you try, that stuff does get through. Sometimes you do find yourself caring about someone's comment, and it's just, that's just how it is, it's, it's fine. Yeah, only human, exactly. You'd much rather have me be a bit brutally honest from time to time than have me be completely compliant just to try and appease everyone. Well, thanks, man. And anyone else that was saying that. Sorry, I may have missed a couple of messages. Yeah, I mean, I do express my appreciation for everyone where possible, where I feel like it's warranted. I don't want to be the kind of person that does that constantly. I don't know. Maybe that makes me a bit cold-hearted. But I feel like if you hear something like that too often, it starts to feel... For me. I'm not saying people that do this are, <laughs> are not authentic, but to me... Ooh, this is different. It just doesn't... It feels like I say that stuff when I'm like, I need to acknowledge it. Ooh. The shield's in there. Okay, we get there from the other side. I didn't wish you a happy birthday, didn't I? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Probably I was working. When was it? If it was a couple days ago, then yeah, that was the day that I finished working at like eight. It's like 12 whole hours. You're teasing me? Okay. Well, I don't know, it's like, it's almost 1 a.m. Oh. Okay, well. Okay, I I have to try and I have to try and get to this thing. Oh, man. I really was confident I wasn't going to die here, but this has become, like, very problematic. There's only ever been two conversations that I think, like, I've... I've had people not like it. And the, it's just the Diablo 4 conversation, and then the one where I was just like... Saying by default that streamers aren't people's friends. I don't know. That like, I care about people as a collective. 
and I want everyone to be genuinely doing well, but like a streamer's default position isn't to be your friend, it's, it's a form of entertainment, and you can become friends with a streamer for sure. Like I certainly have people that I met through Twitch that have become friends and I consider them my friends, but it's something where by default that's not the position I have, it's just not. I'm sorry, I just... I just have to be honest in that regard, because, like... I don't want to put... I don't want to draw arbitrary lines in the sand. But also, chat, I've had a couple of experiences, let's say, where... And some of you will, will definitely remember some of these, it's just like... The word is parasocial. So, you know, people interpreting a small talk conversation in chat as being more. To the point where, like, yeah, someone was harassing a lot of other people. Because they had some idea of, like, uh, what I was to them, when it wasn't that at all. So after that, I just, yeah. And it might sound harsh, but, like, I, I have to be clear. As a default, streamers aren't your friends. They can certainly become your friends. It's, it's not that that won't happen, but, like... If you're just having small talk conversations or just just a chat participations, like it takes a while to get to that point for me. And most people are very respect respectful of that, and I do appreciate those that understand that. Stop airing the dirty laundry. Oh no, Sandy, you have no idea. Like. I mean, Lolo was around for this one, but like... Yeah. It was not a great experience. I'm going for that chest. I mean, it's okay, like, you know. I just hated that other people got dragged into it more than anything else, that's all. And I think it could have easily been resolved with me just... ...being more frank and honest about it, you know? Ooh. Okay, there we go. So in summary, I am very appreciative of people here, and I want them to do well, and, you know, I enjoy the conversations we have. It is a highlight of, of my day, streaming and hanging out and getting to do what I want and having a creative outlet for myself amongst all the stuff that happens in, in a day-to-day -day basis between work and life and all that. It's good to have that and you know I'm very very thankful for that so you know thank you for that and allowing me to to play games and do my thing and uh, be myself for for like 99% of the time but yeah it's like gonna be honest <laughs> for me to, to call someone my friend it takes more than just small talk and um just some sort of vessel like a chat and um, that's just how it is i hope it's not too much of a deal breaker what is this custodian spyrite sapphire 
Ooh, what is that bottom right thing? It's continued on page 24. So those plates become like an altar. Okay. So, anyway. Thank you for um, allowing me to kind of vent that out. Especially, yeah. Uh, streaming's not an easy thing. I'll tell you that much. But, you know, it is it is worth it. I do enjoy it quite a bit. Make the day go fast, give you something to talk to. Yeah, and I, I like the conversations we have, Colrin. And the other conversations I have with the other chat members here as well. I mean, you guys make me laugh, I'll tell you that much. And there are days where I need to laugh! Ah! Uh-oh. <laughs> um, there are days where I need that. Hi. Alright, cool. So, uh, yeah. I'm kind of fucked, aren't I? How am I gonna get the out? Of, how am I gonna get that out? I feel like I need the shields. I'm gonna have to work on getting to the shield. I think I should just forget about that. That's like sunken cost fallacy right there. Back to our normal programming, screaming death, and probably smart. Oh man. There hasn't been smut since like a dragon. These little bullet hell enemies are causing me grief. No smart and acceptable. Because <laughs> you know, Karen's been watching the uh, the older vods. The fucking Kiwi conversation came up, and I was so confused about the question. But you know, I got asked if I if I shaved the Kiwi. Or if I've had kiwis lately. Went over my head until I realized, oh right, yeah, that conversation. I don't have health, I have to go, I have to go back. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need, I need the shield. I know where it is, I just, I reckon the key is gonna, it's gonna be the thing. It's fine. a quicker way, but it's just the other path has bullet hell enemies.
Outside of that, um, that firing squad that shot me in the back. I think it's been pretty chill so far. The soundtrack, I think, carries that quite a, quite a bit. You like the new emotes, Warrior's Cake makes you question your sexuality a little. <laughs> That's just straight up out of, uh... The game, yeah. It's like, it's not that I made it, but it just comes out of, uh, Oreo Land Shake It. It's definitely a favorite around here. Come on. I have to go back already. Um... I forgot to answer earlier, but like, my my throat is fine. Uh, my throat was a little scratchy yesterday, and it's it's a bit better today. In case, when I got shot in the back, um, just the noise I made, if my throat would have hurt, uh, you would definitely be hearing it right now. I feel like I'm too focused on trying to make it without taking damage, but I just want to be on full health when I try to get that key. Okay. I can't, I can't leave these things be. I tried last time and it just didn't work. Bullet hell attack. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay. I'm still on full health. It still counts. There's honestly only two genres that do this to me, like, very reliably, and that's platformers and just any sort of combat game. Oh, or, like, um, party games, like Mario Party or... I guess, like, racing. Like, I count as... <laughs> Crash Team Racing as a party game. Okay, nearly there. Just a little bit further. I have to get rid of the guards, because if the moment I hit that red one, they come running down. Okay, or the red one will come running up, but that's fine. Yeah, get back to your- get back to your post. Okay. Damn it. Aggroed it. Okay, we're fine. Alright, this is it. Okay, here we go. That's not cool. I don't know how I was able to fight that thing for so long whilst talking before and, and just was doing fine. And then the moment the segment of the conversation I was having ended, it just suddenly reality just sunk in and then I got hit and died. Just got the 
craziest craving for a lobster roll. What brought that on? <laughs> So those are hard to come by here, but you can find them. I will, I will get in there. I'm going down this bottom path here. How dare these soldiers stick together. I'm trying to take like the shortest path. I mean, that's another one of the inevitable conversations here, is just food talk. You like the way the water looked in the game and lobsters are from the water. I get it. What I had for lunch today, I, I kind of want again tomorrow, but like, they have, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's, it's like a bun, on the same line as a bun. I don't think I can get this without, okay, I got it. Ooh, he lost his shield. That's interesting. But, you know, oh, what, hey, it pulled me back. There's no shield this time. Um, but yeah, it's like these bum things. The place is called Food Hour, but like, they fill in with... I had one that was like a black pepper beef one, and it was so good. It's just, imagine pastry, and then the middle of it is like Chinese food. That's the best way I can describe it. Damn it, that was like the best, the best, best chance I had. Yeah, it's like, they call it Food Hour, that's the name of the place, but like, I think it's it's a play on the word bow, which is just bun, right? So different feelings you can get. I mean look it up, it'll it'll come up. I'd look up a picture now, but I have to alt tab to do that. I feel kind of robbed. That last one sort of warped me forward. Okay. Alright, get rid of the scarred. Love steam buns. Call them Manafly in Hawaii. They're always filled with chashu pork and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it's pretty much what what I'm talking about here. It was great. Kind of want another one. Look 
Come on. Alright, full health. Now... Yes! There we go! <laughs> old house. The key to the old house. Alright, got it. That's like, you know, classic rule of Dark Souls. Don't be afraid of the enemy. Okay. Now I have the key. Usually employ lunch at work as random slot, but the other day a chef decided to make pho, he nearly cried. Ah, oh, man. It's been a minute since I've had pho. Just, ever since going remote, it's just nowhere near Vietnamese restaurants anymore. Used to be pretty close to them. What is pho? It's, um, Vietnamese soup. So it's, it's a bone broth and then you usually get it with, uh, like, medium rare beef or chicken. They also do, uh, what's the other thing? But it's a noodle soup. Long story short, it's really good. It's just one of those things that uh, is a result of, I guess, French cuisine making influences in, in Vietnam. Like the broth aspect, but then the noodles and all that is them. It's very good soup. Wasn't that into it until you had some really good ones. Yeah. The way I got into it was my parents. Because um, there are a few suburbs here in, in the state that I live in that just a lot of uh, immigrants from Southeast Asia. And so the place that my parents have had been going to for a very, very long time. Um, they'd get soup and then I'd always get something else and then one day I decided to try it and it was so good. And the reason being is because right next door they have a butcher. So like you would see the... The old lady walk out of the kitchen. And then a few minutes later... <laughs> just... From next door come back with a massive bone and then, you know, yeah. It's getting made. One. This is a cozy little room. I tried it, and yeah, it was really good. You put some sort of fermented chili sauce in it, man. It's great. Alright, I got shield. Good progress. Pho and banh mi combination is up in your top favorite foods. Yeah, a good Vietnamese bakery that make their own bread and just do the banh mi stuff, man. Cannot go wrong. Okay. So now I should be able to defend myself against the damn turrets. Yeah. 
Yeah, not letting them do any damage. Ooh. Ominous. I don't know where I am right now. Like, I've definitely gone a lot further than where I was before. I, I'm just a huge fan of Asian-style soups, whether it's, like, pho, laksa, ramen, the proper Japanese ramen. They just always make me so happy. You had some chili oil from home and added it to your pho. It was like a religious experience. Chili oil is so good, dude. Any sort of noodle dish I get, that gets added. But a good substitute if you don't have chili oil, the Malaysians do, um... This... It's not, a, it's not quite a sauce and it's not quite a paste. It's kind of in the middle. But it's called sambal. And it's got chili in it, but it's also got uh, shrimp as well. Ooh, does the shield have durability? Okay. Is my shield gonna break? I hope not. Okay. Gotta try that now. You can find it in supermarkets. It's pretty good. Or just go to any Asian grocery, you'll find it. This is still... Mm, okay, it's not what I expected. I still have to do some form of dodging. Danger. Yeah, definitely, definitely give it a go. Especially if you're a fan of chili oil. It's not quite as salty as a chili oil is, but... It's, it's got its own flavor. But I like it. So, the way you use it is, you can either put it into your, use it as a condiment, or you can use it in stir fries as well. It's pretty damn good. It's pretty, uh, what's the word? Not robust. I'm struggling with words. It's past one in the morning. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Dark Tomb. Oh no, this is a bad idea. I don't have a torch. Versatile, that's the word. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. I got as far as I could. I mean, maybe if I had heals. Versatility. I want to go to that other spot that I was in before. The place where I got shot in the back, but I feel like that's a bad idea as well. Yeah, this is where I came from. Although, if I continue out there, it just would let me go back, right? There we go. Okay, we're here now. I just hope the shield isn't something that breaks. 
because that would be very sad. I would imagine she'll just parry. So what was this about, like, roll and shield? It's like, roll, shield. Roll, shield. Oh no, I see. It's not durability, it's based off stamina. So I can block as long as I have stamina. Got it. I wanted to keep going from here. Down. Yeah, just, just in case. Oh, these things used to be turrets. Interesting. Okay, so now... Ooh. Alright, drinking. I, I feel like I have to parry. Okay. Nope, didn't work. What do, what do I need to do here? Let's see if there's anything else. It doesn't look like there's a, there's a parry mechanic. Focus and evade, focus and block. Mm. I don't think I can get- I don't think I can get past this thing. But there's probably other rooms that I can go to now. I'm just not sure how I would go past that thing. So my only options right now are that dark cave. Or the, uh, the room of a... <laughs> uh, the room where I just got shot in the back. I feel like I can't go in that room either, because... There's too many of them shooting. Alright, that was bad. I definitely thought the shield was going to be more of a, a defense mechanism <laughs> to, to those turret things, but it's very limited, which I guess makes sense. It's fine. I'll find my way. these things to stop aggroing each other. Alright, there we go. Oof. Okay, I need to find that room that I got to. Is it here? I don't think so. No. Okay, I have to find it.
What was in here again? I think this was a dead end. This was the back room, right? With all the empty chests? Yeah. Okay. I have to remember how I got to that. It was on low ground. I think I remember how. Damn it. My reactions are definitely not <laughs> not as good as they were, like, say, an hour ago. Pretty good at defending. Oh, yeah, okay. It is collateral damage. Uh, no idea what that is. A card would appear. Okay, it was this way. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Didn't realize there was a chest here as well. Another one of these. Yeah, okay, this is it. <laughs> this is the execution room. Uh, this danger. Is there a scenario where I can do this one at a time? I think there is. I got this. Okay, now this is the problematic part. Okay, that's the spot where I can fight it. Ugh. Shit. I can get I can get my stuff back. <laughs> the right one probably had to go down first. Alright, I can I can get I can get my stuff back. That's fine. Even if I can't do that room, I it's not a lost cause that. I can I can win. I don't know how to get there. <laughs> it's just the same path that I've been taking for the last hour. Uh, man.
Not go any further. Okay. Almost there. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, I need to deal with... No, wait, no, I don't. Just go in here. Alright, here we go. I'm back. Okay. I don't know if I can get my... Okay, I got my body first. I can do this. Okay, now I need to figure out how to get only one of these things to attack me. They both activate. I wonder if it's a CZ. Hold on. I won't go down. I need that one to just fuck off for a minute. <laughs> Is it gone? It's not, I, I gotta wait until it's gone. That one doesn't seem to want to go down. Okay, there we go. Right. They both activate. I don't think I'm going to get a chance to do it. What I'm going to try and do is get to the side of, of that one, right? Okay, go. Shit, go back. I got caught. You'll see. That's smart. Galaxy brain strategy. Still alive. Patience. Got it. All right. What is this now? The hourglass. There's the drawing on the screen. All right. Well, whatever this is, I got it. Let's see if there's just any secret passages. But otherwise, this is done now. have an hourglass. Oh crap, wrong button. Yeah, that's when you know bet is on the horizon. <laughs>
I mean, I'm basically dead at this point, so... Oh, ladder. Interesting. Okay, this goes further. The ruined atoll. Okay. Well, now that I've reached <laughs> this, is there a save? I don't think this is a save. I think this is this is it. All right. I have to leave it here for tonight, chat. I need to go get some sleep, as uh, I do have work in the morning. But, I hope you enjoyed this opening stream of Tunic. A lot of fun, this, this game. We'll do more of it tomorrow night, so I hope you're down for that. Uh, but if you've reached the end here and you're watching later on YouTube, thank you so much. And uh, consider clicking buttons if you want to support the channel. And thank you to those that have been doing that helps a lot and also lets me know what people like and to do more of it so yeah uh what else what else do i usually say it's like right um if you want to watch me do other stuff i'm sure two other videos have popped up and i hope you do check them out but till next time bye youtube